say, I have great relationship with the Mexican people. I have many people working for me. You can look at the job in Washington. I have many legal immigrants working for me. Many of them come from Mexico. They love me. I love them. And I'll tell you something. If I get the nomination, I'll win the Latino vote. I will win it. Okay. <laughs> the betting window is open. Yes. Right here. We, we, right we here. really. He needs now. to work in his confidence. That's the whole <laughs> problem with, with Donald Trump. Anyway, welcome back to Daily Wrap. I'm Joe Concha, joined by my co-host, Rick Unger. And filling out the panel tonight, Jane Velez Mitchell, who I have a feeling has a couple of things to say about that <laughs> comment. And Noah Rothman. Yes, that was quite a prediction by the Donald Jane. Oh, Can he boy. win your vote and the Latino vote in general? I just like to know what is he smoking? Yeah. Because seriously. Peyote? I, I honestly feel sorry for him because I feel that all the bluster. Not the comb over, but all the bluster mm -hmm. uh, is really a sign of low self-esteem. In other words, when you can only feel good about yourself by so. putting someone else down, mm -hmm. I think that fundamentally, even though it may appear like overconfidence, it's actually low self-esteem. I think the guy needs to see a therapist, to be honest with you. I think wow. he's got some serious emotional and psychological problems, and it's playing out on the national stage. We've heard a lot of analysis of Donald yeah, Trump on the show. Yeah, Mentally I, ill is not one of the uh, two words that you're, came up. You're much kinder than I am. I mean, look, you know, it's gotten to the point, in, at least in my estimation, where Americans now have to face the question, would you want a president who is a braggart, who is, is a rude, a braggart, he a brags a, a about braggart. everything, okay. who exaggerates about what time it is. I mean, this guy don't is, all politicians is do this? everything. No, not to this extent. Okay. No, humans don't do this. This <laughs> man is everything our parents told us never to be. So you're saying that he can't win the Latino vote? <laughs> like I said, the betting window is open. Right, if you think right. he can, I'm taking all bets. No, on let me that. let me uh, alter the question. Can he, he win can't a even, Latino vote? He can't even. <laughs> he, can't, he can't even win the votes of the Latinos who work for him. Wow. Noah, contradictory uh, opinion in any capacity? No, not really. I think uh, I think everybody's exactly right here. Um, look, this is performance art at this point. Right. Um, that's really kind of silly, and I think we all agree that that's, that's kind of silly. Um, but this is a silly candidacy, and by extension, it's making a lot of people who aren't silly look rather bright. Uh, when he files his financial forms to, uh, in, in eight days or so in order to qualify for the Fox debate. Mm -hmm. We can call him a real presidential candidate. I don't know if that's going to happen yet, although I was surprised to see the FCC uh, filing in the first place. Mm -hmm. But uh, when he does, then he can get on stage and he can look ridiculous and be uh, as brash as possible and make Chris Christie look polite by comparison, make <laughs> Rick Perry look like a racial healer by comparison. <laughs> uh, so I think ultimately this is, a, this is anything but so a bad thing. You, you touched upon something. badly on all of them. No, 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 no. You just touched upon something great, and then, then we got to move on. Is that by having a Trump in the race, he is making every other Republican look, look very good, very pragmatic. Perry, Christie, all of them look more statesman and presidential because of Donald but Trump. I say the opposite effect's happening. We not go to in a the second. Latino community, and they can't win the White House without okay. a healthy number of Latinos. Well, if a Jeb Bush or Kasich gets the They're all going to get lumped nominee. together because none of them, including Jeb Bush, came out right away and said, shame on you, Donald Trump. They won't Had they done that. that. We are 487 days from the election. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that that will be forgiven <laughs> to a certain extent. Anyway, Shane, we love you. Uh, Trump's <laughs> tough stance is getting support from one mother whose son was the victim of an illegal immigrant. Her name is Anita Shaw. She tells the Daily Mail that it's time for people to listen to Trump. Her 17-year-old son was fatally shot by an illegal immigrant who was released from jail the day before the shooting. Had a proper check been conducted, officials would have realized he should have been deported. And of course, in San Francisco, an illegal immigrant who had been deported one, two, three, four, five times is now charged in the murder of a young woman there last week. Could these incidents have more people come around to Trump's point of view, Noah Rothman? Uh, I don't want to sound callous or cruel here. This is a horrible situation, and I can't even imagine what this woman is going through. Uh, that said, we do not make policy in this country based on anecdote uh, or based on media hysteria. What happened in San Francisco is horrible. What happened there is absolutely atrocious. But at the same time, there is not an epidemic in this country of illegal immigrants creating violent criminal situations. It just doesn't exist. And to suggest otherwise is false. I would say we do make policy to a certain extent, though, just to push back well, on you with that's the Confederate true. flag, because that was that was what? A, that's a, a reaction. That's I'm not fair. saying I don't disagree with what they did in state that's capitals, but fair. that was what a great answer Noah just gave us. Good for you. I'm serious. Um, first of all, the facts support what you just said in terms of, of immigration. Secondly, I got to ask this question: When did it become Trump's 
point of view. It's not like we haven't heard about illegal immigration before the arrival of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. It's not like we've been unaware of sanctuary cities before Donald Trump decided for the ninth time to run for president. What is this with Trump's point of view? There have been people talking about this for years. If people are just starting to listen, well, shame on you if it took that kind of a person to get your attention by being insulting. This, these are serious issues. I'm really pleased that Noah said what he said because he stated the facts. We don't make policy this way. Again, horrible things that happen in San Francisco and to this family, but it's not the way we do it. Jan, we'll come to you in a moment. Ben Carson is also supporting Donald Trump, saying sanctuary cities should be outlawed. James Velez Mitchell, should they be outlawed? <laughs> well, listen, I feel that uh, Donald Trump's problem was that he painted um, tens of millions of people with a very broad brush. However, um, while the vast majority of uh, Latinos and Mexican-Americans in particular are law-abiding, hardworking people, that tiny fraction of illegal immigrants who are committing crimes need to be prosecuted to the fullest. Okay, last word on that particular part of the Donald Trump segment. And in an interview with NBC, Donald Trump, who calls Hillary Clinton the worst Secretary of State ever, also took her to task for her immigration policy. Hillary would let everybody come in, killers, criminals, drug dealers, everybody. If you listen to Hillary, everybody is going to be flowing through the nation. They are sort of now anyway. But if you listen to Hillary, she is so weak on immigration. We will have a crime wave like you've never seen before. Immigration very fast question. How many secretaries of state of this country do you think that Donald Trump could even name, let alone know who the worst secretary of state is? Okay. Question, answering your question, very good. Would you vote for Donald Trump? Go to NewsmaxPolls.com to cast your vote. Back with more in a moment.